Hey guys, welcome back. Boy, there's a lot that's gone on with this whole Kobe and his daughter and the other families and the pilot. I don't want to leave anybody out because, gosh, can you imagine being the others? Sad. Um, but you know what really makes you stop and think? Not just how everybody says that day to day. Oh, be grateful. You never know when your time's coming. But it really is so short, this life. And a lot of people don't appreciate it. Not like they should. In Kobe, what I've learned, because I have never been a big basketball fan is that he was such a great basketball player, but he was an incredible man, father. I, if I would have known who he was as a person before this tragedy, I would have been such a supporter. He is, and he's just incredible. And wow, what a great man. The kids that, and adults alike <laughs> that looked up to him, they've got to be struggling so bad because that loss is huge. And that's just talking about Kobe. Aside from losing his precious little baby, like that little girl was incredible. And you could tell that she shared the same heart as him. I think that he was such an incredible dad that Vanessa, his wife, and the other three kids at home, they were so blessed to have him for as long as they did. And what a beautiful life that they live, I'm sure. Um, and being that I'm approaching 40, and he was 41, I believe, I can't imagine like one more year and then my life would be over. But the things that I've done in my life don't come close to what he's accomplished. But my life has been so good. So for him, he's had so many opportunities and his family's had so many opportunities. I hope that they can hang on to all of that, the memories, the accomplishments, the special times that they shared together and maybe unique opportunities that they had because he was Kobe Bryant. Um, I just feel like because his life was cut so short and his daughters at only 13, and the other daughter, or the other fr the friend in the, in the copter too that was 13. I just hope that their lives were so blessed in the time that they were here. That their family can just be thankful for the opportunities they had. It's all just so unfortunate. And as a mom, I just think about poor Vanessa and what she's going through. I can't begin to imagine. I can only think about if something like this ever happened to me and I lost one of my kids or, I don't even like talking about it, but anything like that that's tragic, you never recover, never recover. So Lord, give her the strength, her family, the other family that passed, their families, the pilot, I mean, Lord, be with them. Hold them dear and give them the strength because it's going to be a long, long time of just learning how to live again. 
the families are going to need all the support they can get. And if you're a parent of a child, young adult that looked up to Kobe, make sure that you talk to them about death because, well, some kids have never experienced a loss. A lot of them have, but you'd be surprised how many kids don't understand death or it scares them. My daughter has serious issues about death. She's had to have counseling. She just doesn't process it. And when she first told me about this being a problem, not with Kobe, but with a friend of hers, I just kept telling her, oh, you know, it's okay. They're in a better place. Like trying to do whatever I could do and say to just make her feel better. But that wasn't enough. Don't assume that kids are okay. They're not okay. A lot of them are feeling deeper pain than you may realize. Make sure that you just stop and talk to them. You'd be surprised at how many of them need that.